Hello there, this is the day the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with humble hearts, seeking your wisdom and guidance as we delve into your holy word. We ask that you open our minds and soften our hearts so that we may fully understand and apply the truths we read today. May your spirit lead us in all truth and may we grow closer to you with every word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Welcome back to our daily Bible reading series. Today we will be exploring passages from Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 15 to chapter 5 verse 13, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 25 to 40, Psalm 32 verses 1 to 11, and Proverbs chapter 21 verses 5 to 7. As we journey through these scriptures, we will discuss the significance of each passage and offer prayers that align our hearts with God's word. Let's dive in. So first, let's look at Nehemiah chapter 3, verse 15 to chapter 5, verse 13. Rebuilding the walls and facing opposition. In Nehemiah chapter 3, verse 15 to chapter 5, verse 13, we witness the perseverance and dedication of the Israelites as they rebuild the walls of Jerusalem under Nehemiah's leadership. Despite facing significant opposition from their enemies, they press on, relying on God for strength and protection. In terms of the determination to rebuild, the people of Israel were focused on restoring the walls of Jerusalem, a symbol of their strength and God's protection. This teaches us the importance of perseverance in our own spiritual journeys. Just as they did not give up in the face of adversity, we too must stand firm in our faith, knowing that God is with us. Nehemiah and the Israelites faced ridicule and threats from their enemies, yet they responded with prayer and action, setting guards and continuing their work. This is a powerful reminder that when we face challenges in life, our first response should be to seek God in prayer and then act with faith. Let us pray with this in mind. Dear Lord, as we reflect on the efforts of Nehemiah and the Israelites, we ask for the same courage and determination in our lives. Help us to remain steadfast in our faith and to trust in your protection when we face opposition. May we always turn to you in prayer and continue the work you have set before us with unwavering faith. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 25 to 40 pulls guidance on marriage and singleness. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 25 to 40, Paul offers counsel regarding marriage and singleness, addressing those who are betrothed and those who remain single. He emphasizes that both states are gifts from God and encourages believers to live in a way that is pleasing to the Lord, regardless of their marital status. Marriage and singleness as gifts. Paul speaks to the value of both marriage and singleness, reminding us that each state has its own unique blessings and challenges. This passage encourages us to view our current state as an opportunity to serve God fully and to trust that he knows what is best for us. Undivided devotion to the Lord, Paul advises that those who are single can be more focused on serving the Lord without the concerns that come with marriage. However, he also acknowledges that marriage is a beautiful and honorable calling. Ultimately, Paul's message is about prioritizing our relationship with God above all else. Let us pray with this in mind. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wisdom shared through Paul's words. Help us to embrace our current season, whether in singleness or marriage, as an opportunity to grow closer to you. May we serve you with undivided hearts and find contentment in your perfect will for our lives. Guide us in our relationships that they may reflect your love and bring glory to your name. Amen. Psalm 32 verses 1 through 11, the joy of forgiveness. Psalm 32 is a beautiful expression of the joy that comes from receiving God's forgiveness. David reflects on the weight of sin and the relief and joy that follows when we confess and are forgiven. 
in terms of the blessing of forgiveness, David begins by acknowledging the blessedness of those whose transgressions are forgiven. This reminds us of the incredible gift of God's grace and the freedom that comes when we are cleansed of our sins. In terms of the power of confession, David speaks of the anguish he felt when he kept silent about his sin and the relief that came when he confessed. This encourages us to be honest with God, knowing that he is merciful and ready to forgive. Let us pray with this in mind. Loving Father, we are in awe of the grace you extend to us. Thank you for the gift of forgiveness and the joy that fills our hearts when we are cleansed from sin. Help us to live in the light of your grace, quick to confess our sins and to seek your mercy. May we always remember the joy of salvation and share it with others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Proverbs 21, chapter 5, 7, in terms of wisdom in planning and integrity. Proverbs 21, verses 5 to 7, offers practical wisdom on the importance of diligent planning and the value of integrity. It contrasts the outcomes of those who plan wisely and act with honesty versus those who seek shortcuts and engage in deceit, discussion, diligence, and planning. The proverb highlights that careful planning and diligence lead to abundance while haste leads to poverty. This serves as a reminder to be thoughtful and intentional in our actions, trusting that God blesses those who work diligently. In terms of the dangers of deceit, the passage also warns against dishonesty and injustice, noting that such behaviors lead to ruin. Integrity is a key theme here encouraging us to live in a way that honors God and reflects his righteousness. Let us pray with this in mind. Most wise Lord, we ask for your wisdom as we make decisions in our lives. Help us to plan carefully and to act with integrity in all we do. May our lives be marked by honesty and righteousness and may we trust in your provision as we work diligently. Guide us in all our endeavors that we may glorify you in every aspect of our lives. Amen. Now let me pray for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the richness of your word and the guidance it provides for our lives. As we meditate on these scriptures, we pray that your truths would take root in our hearts and bear fruit in our daily lives. Bless everyone under the sound of my voice, and may your peace, wisdom, and love abound in their lives. We ask that you continue to guide us, protect us, and draw us closer to you each day. Thank you, Lord, for this time of reflection and for the community we share in Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining me in today's Bible reading and reflection. I hope that these scriptures and prayers have touched your heart and encouraged your faith. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with others who might be blessed by it. Your support helps us continue to spread God's word to more people. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you.